Welcome to my studio. As artists, obviously we use tools all the time to achieve results um, that we want. Some are common tools, of course, the brush, the palette knife, and some other uh, tools um, tend to be exotic in, in ways. Uh, some are personal and, and we create them because we want to achieve specific results or use a specific technique uh, that requires them. Others are more common and, um, and all artists use them in one way or another. What I want to do in the next few videos is to share with you the tools that I use in my studio. Um, again, some of them are going to be common that you've heard of or used yourselves, and some are going to be different. Some of them be things that I created myself, and you're welcome to use them as well if there are ideas that you want to use. Either way, let's go take a look through my studio, pick up some tools, and see what we can end up with. Come on, let's go. Today I want to talk to you about a family of brushes called riggers, liners, and dagger brushes. They look more or less something like this in general. And we're going to go ahead and look at each individual one or each individual branch of this family and see what they do and why they were created. Let's start with the riggers because those are the easiest ones and the first ones that we encounter and least exotic. Riggers were made um, mostly for artists that were painting um, ships uh, in the 18th century. Um, it was a very popular um, uh, theme, I guess, uh, in painting. And, um, and they required a brush that would do the rigging, uh, the, the paint the rigging in, in these ships. And that's why it's called a rigger. All of them do the same thing, basically. All, all, they, all of them do the following, they create lines, right? So they create very thin lines, uh, or thin, to some extent, thin lines. Um, there are also these kind of riggers, um, and there are bigger ones and smaller ones like that, where the rigging, the rigger is, is there, but there's a sort of a reservoir um, attached to it, um, more hair, so that it holds a bit more water. Problem with these riggers is, they don't hold enough water, so you always have to go back and dip into your color uh, so that you can paint with them. This one holds more water in the reservoir, will hold more color in the reservoir, and so what you do when you're doing the lines, it it can do more lines for you because it it holds more water, so you can do you don't have to go dipping um, all the time to achieve the results. Okay, so very nice brush um, and and very useful because you can use it continuously for a longer period of time than you can use these here. So these are the riggers. Let's put them away for a second and let's take a look at another family. So the next family uh, that I'm going to show you is is called uh, a dagger brush. So this is the normal dagger brush that you usually can see. Uh, it has a shape that is pointed and sort of a, 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 an edge here that, uh, that, that comes to a point. This is a different one, a bit longer, um, and has uh, more shape to it. And um, and but this is actually the original one. So let me show you what this one is and and give you the history of it. So this is this is what it looks like when it's wet. It's um, um, uh, uh, squirrel hair, so it holds a lot of water. And the way that this is used, the original one. It's, it's, it wasn't used for, for art, it, well, not, not for painting, it was used for cars. So this is a liner, it actually creates lines, um, I'm going to put more water with this. So it creates beautiful lines, and the way that they used it is they sort of slapped it on and dragged it, okay, and the dragging gave you a perfect line. as you did that. Okay, so that is that is the beginning of it. Now, over time, what uh, artists started using it, and, um, and um, art uh, brush companies created the dagger, which is one with a longer handle, like this one here. And it does the same thing, more or less. So it, it can give you these lines if you, if you hold it well and straight across, and you can use it 
for sync purposes, right? The nice thing about the dagger is, um, and, and the other one as well, is that you can use it on both sides. So I can use it to create thicker lines, thinner lines, and everything in between, okay? Uh, the longer one is essentially the same thing. It just has a bit more um, interesting opportunity to do things because it's it's longer. Um, but all in all, these these three um, are the same family. They create the same results for us, um, and um, and and they're very useful to create lines and texture or, or linear elements in in a painting. Okay. So that's, uh, those are these. And now let's get into something else, and that is the um, liners. And liners, um, we'll start with this one right here. This is an Escoda liner. You can see that actually the handle is shorter than the hair on this one. So it's, it's really, um, you know, mostly uh, um, hair uh, uh, in this brush. And the way this is used, again, very similar to the... Um, the other brushes but the way to use it is actually slap it on and pull it because there's no way that you can use the tip alone it's it's more of a slap on and pull um, and, and it creates lines that are much more in control because of that slap on approach because it sort of holds on to the um, the paper it you, once once it sticks like this and you pull it it creates those lines that are much more in control. You slap on and you pull and it creates a beautiful perfect line that way. Okay? So these are different brushes. So this is um, this is the original one. Um, very hard to use in my opinion and I, I never I, I can never find it. it. I always lose it in my in my drawer. So I created one similar to it with a bit shorter hair and a bit more hair uh, to it and um, it does the same thing and, and works the same way so I tend to just stick it onto the paper and pull and it creates a bit more interesting line for me because it's it's um, the hair that I'm using is synthetic but it's very good synthetic hair so it creates nice lines for me like this okay so that's um, that's a liner this way. You can also have a liner that is on a long brush like this and does works the same way as well. So pick up color, you lay it down and you pull. And this one is a bit thicker and creates different kinds of lines. But you can also use it to create textured lines like this and linear elements in your painting. Okay? So that and I create my own brushes, and these are the ones that I use most of the time in painting. And they are of the same family, more or less, uh, but, but this one holds a lot more water and, and can create anything for me from a very thin line to a much thicker line to almost a wash, if I want to. So much more versatile. But all in all, all of these, all of these brushes are linear brushes that create interesting lines for you and work with you to achieve certain specific results.